All right, hey Capricorn. So I am doing an energy check-in for um, the person on your mind. It's the messages from that one person that you can't seem to shake. It's a, a separation um, intention read. So you guys are in separation. And with this read, um, you're gonna know it's you by your energy and the past and the present circumstances. So if that doesn't resonate, please check your moon rising and Venus placements. And if you guys are new, welcome to the channel. I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. And also, if you guys resonate with this, I would just ask that you interact with the video somehow so that other um, energies and YouTube can actually see the video and it gets kind of spread around. I would appreciate your help. So your energy. You're coming through with the King of Wands. Um, the Devil card and the Eight of Wands. So what I want to say is I actually feel like you have a lower vibrational um, state of mind just in the moment. The Devil card is all about fears. It's ego. Um, so you could just be operating from a place of fear right now, fear of the unknown. All right. And, and maybe even some selfish tones to that um, type of fear. And this is not a bad thing It's because we all do it. We all want to know what's going to happen. We all want our way. We all want it. We want what we want and we want it right now. Um, and it's, that's just how I'm seeing this card come through is you, you just want to know about the unknown. The King of Wands in reverse is a depiction of somebody who has high expectations, has a, ten a tendency to be ruthless or impulsive. And so you could be experiencing that as well, just because you really want to know what's going on with this connection and the dynamic. All right. The, um, the Eight of Wands coming through is, I feel like kind of a sort of a expectation of, of incoming communication, you know, wanting to talk, wanting to communicate, um, you know, wanting to, to settle the differences and see where you guys stand with this person. So what is their energy? Their energy coming through. Um, they're looking at this situation as something that has uh, walked, that has been walked away from. They've either walked away from you or they have walked, you've walked away from them, but they're also feeling the karma. They're feeling the burn of, of what has taken place. All right. Um, you could be dealing with um, a Libra uh, with the Eight of Cups. You could be dealing with Pisces. And then we have the Six of Wands energy and that's Leo energy. So you could be dealing with any of those signs. Um, but ultimately this person does want to move forward, but it's like, I got to get past what I feel now in order to do that and feel that. So let's see what the past looks like. So in the past, you guys maybe have felt strung along and somebody was misusing their magic or their powers when it comes to the connection. All right. And, and the, the magic is, is more about um, the smooth talking, the leading on. Um, this is like somebody that's been being led astray. This is somebody that's being led on, uh, dangling the carrot. This is also fighting. It's war. It's battle. The king of swords in the reverse says that there was not there was a lack of mental clarity and established boundaries. Somebody was very dishonest and um not very truthful when it comes to the dynamic of their feelings, their emotions, or even the physical sense of what they've been doing when you guys were not together. All right. I feel like the magician card is coming through saying somebody was manipulating the energy, um, you know, that could have been used for good. So where are the current circumstances? The current energy, missed opportunity. Um, so in the current situation, I feel like you guys are kind of debating, making a choice. All right. I feel like the lovers in reverse is all about making a choice. And I feel like that has to do with making a choice to stay or making a choice to go. All right. I feel like the preference is um, to want to move forward and, and build a successful future with this person. But some of you guys could just be looking at it as a missed opportunity all in itself. Okay. So what does this person want from this? What do they want from this connection? They want to balance the situation. They want it to be successful. And at this moment in time, they're more concerned about the ancestral aspect, the spirit guide stepping in, God stepping in and kind of taking that will. Um, you know, they're waiting for um, fate to kick in to help uh, the dynamic of this connection. I almost feel like this person would rather pray about the dynamic than actually reach out to you, which is fine. Um, but ultimately, they want to come home. They want their soulmate. They want the soul connection back because nobody's made them feel like you have. This is love, comfort, home, stability. Um, the six of coins right here, this is all about balancing um, everything, making it even, making it successful, and then being able to move forward with that. All right. So I just kind of feel like where this person's head is, is they're in the sense of 
wanting to move forward, wanting to proceed, wanting to do right by you. Um, but I just feel like this person, I don't want to say that they're all talk and no action, but I really truly feel like this person is leaving it truly in the hands of fate. They're, they're leaving it truly in the hands of the divine, you know, and if you're not making any efforts towards it because they may have messed up, you know, or because you have messed up, um, there, the expectations of this is for you to come back and reach out to them. All right. So let's see what, uh, let's see what their intentions are the next 30 days. All right, so you guys may be going, for some of you, you may be going a little bit past the 30 days. The reason why I say that is because we have this Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is all about new beginnings, but it does come with the potential um, to be delayed. All right, so what I feel what their intentions are is they are going to reach out to you. Um, I feel like they are going to give you some explanation as to why um, there has been, um, you know, really no action going on, maybe some haste, maybe lack of communication. All right. I feel like this person will come through and, and explain themselves in such a way um, that, that you need. All right. In order to, to move on and, and move forward um, from especially if there's any ill feelings when it comes to this connection. You know what I mean? Um, with the four of, of coins, you know. I, I feel more that their intentions, um, if they feel a little bit guarded, it's going to be based off of the energy they feel from you. Um, and for some of you, I feel like you, this card is coming through telling you to use your intuition and to see where their energy is at because um, some of them, some of the people that you may be dealing with are going to come through and they're still going to have some reservations and that's where you need to see where you can identify if this person's being real and if their heart is in a good spot when it comes, you know, the reason why I'm saying that is because a lot of people tend to come forward um, out of a place of desperation and sadness and fear and loneliness. And I almost feel like with that devil energy that you were showing up here, um, the potential is there for this person to come back. And it's like, it's easy to come back and reconnect just because we're sad just to fill a void. Okay. But it's not the right reasons to come back. All right. So their intentions, their intentions, I don't say are, are going to be impure. I do feel like their heart is in a good space and I do feel like they want to recognize the good space with you. I just feel you need to pay attention to their mannerisms and actions because they can want something, but it could just be self-fulfillment in such a way that it's only going to be temporary, if that makes sense. All right. So let's see what they want to tell you. I hate being without you. I hate this. I hate I hate the feeling of rejection. I hate the feeling of what I've done to you. I hate being alone. I feel basically abandoned. The only person that's ever um, shown me, you know, their true selves is you. The only person I've ever even hinted to or had an inkling towards this uh, happy, happy union has been you. And for whatever has transpired in between us, I feel... I don't know why destitute is coming to my mind, but I just feel rejected. I feel abandoned. I feel lonely. I feel scattered. I feel like I'm an option. I feel like maybe I shouldn't have treated you like an option. I feel like we need to clear up any missed opportunity, any, any miscommunications so that we can pursue the opportunities ahead. Excuse me. I just feel like this person is coming through and they have a, they have a lot to say. I feel like that seven of cups too is a representation of how much they want to tell you what you guys haven't been able to explore and what you haven't been able to talk about. Um, I, but I feel like there's a lot of breaking down of the ego that you guys are dealing with in order to be able to successfully move forward. And even if it comes back, even though this person does feel like I, I feel like they're coming from a place from their heart, I still feel like there's going to be some air that needs to be cleared before you guys can move forward. So let's see what your advice is. The advice when it comes to this. We have the tower card in reverse. We have the full card. Um, I feel like the advice is basically you have somebody that's extremely, extremely afraid of putting their feelings out there. All right. The full card even came in through in reverse. And I don't feel like it's to make you feel like a fool or anything. I feel like it's more about this person. Um, they're afraid to put themselves out there for the new beginning because they are afraid of what's going to happen if, if, 
if Capricorn doesn't want them, if Capricorn doesn't want to move forward, if Capricorn rejects them, all right? I feel like this person's kind of going through their feelings and what your advice is, is they're going to come from a good place. Um, but also to the full card in reverse, I just, I just can't help but feel like some of you guys need to pay attention to your intuition on the intentions. And it's not that this person is going to come back and have negative intentions. It's going to be more from a, a place that tugs at your heartstrings. Um, that makes you feel a certain way. Like you have to take them back or like you're obligated to take them back. Like you're responsible for this person's feelings, Capricorn. And what, what I feel your angels and spirit guides are saying is you're not responsible for anybody's happiness, but your own. Okay. Um, you're not responsible for, especially on that romantic dynamic. You're only responsible for you, nobody else. So don't let this person come in and take advantage of your nurture and your care just because they want to feel a certain way. All right, because I do feel like that dynamic is playing out and I feel like it's playing out pretty heavily here. So I'm going to pull some initials to see who we're talking to. And this can be yours or this person's initials. Just keep in mind, you guys, I do draw energy from the cards, not the initials. All right, so you guys are coming through with P, W, Y, N, M, and F. So those are the initials showing here. I do hope this resonates with you guys. Um, like I said, if you guys can just interact with the video, if it does, I would greatly appreciate it. And I just want to wish you all a very, very beautiful weekend, you guys. <laughs>